While uh, talk of an election in a theocracy is an oxymoronic concept, it's an established fact that the regime hypes several fold the number of participants in its elections in order to create an image of credibility and legitimacy. This year, however, is very different. One very telling and unique aspect of this year's sham election is calls for boycott, which has become uh, pervasive as an act of defiance. Graffiti on big walls call for boycott and say, my vote is regime change. The young people are tearing down banners and posters of the regime's candidates. And the social media is filled with calls for uh, boycott. It has become so omnipresent that even the regime's institutions can no longer ignore them. A recent poll conducted by Tehran University's uh, Social Studies and Research Institute put the number of those who will take part in the sham elections at only 24% in Tehran. Another figure uh, provided by Abbas Abdi, a key uh, individual in the quote-unquote reformist camp of the regime, put the figure at only 19.2% of those who will take part in the election in the country. The very same poll by Tehran University said some 94% of the population are discontent with the situation in the country. That explains why senior leaders of the regime, including Ali Khamenei himself, have become so panicky and are begging people to take part in the elections. And that's why the regime has resorted to all sorts of intimidation and also providing incentives for people to take part. Also, one would expect the regime to resort to even more exaggeration to boost uh, the number of the people who took part and provide a much more hyped figure in terms of the turnout.